Are you in need of FIFA 22 coins to improve your squad? Look no further than u7buy.com, offering some of the cheapest coins on the market, whilst being one of the safest and the most reliable websites around in the market today. Make sure as well, if you do go to the website, you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a discount. Let's get into the video. So EA just dropped End of an Era Jermaine Defoe. This card looks brilliant. It's quite cheap coming in at 85 rated squad only with 55 chemistry. Obviously, he's quite hard to link being in at League 1 with Sunderland. But Jermaine Defoe has had an end of era card before at Bournemouth, which is a bit crazy. The first ever player, in my knowledge, to get two end of era cards. Quite crazy. As you can see, the way we've linked him in this team is via English players. Some of the English players on this game right now are brilliant. As you can see, how we've linked him with Jude Bellingham, Curtis Jones and Harvey Barnes. I'm watching the Liverpool City game right now. It's 2 all. It's been a brilliant game. I'm hoping Curtis Jones does get an upgrade of some sort. He's already brilliant, but he's great for links, this Jermaine Defoe card. I imagine a lot of you will be playing him on 8 chemistry. We're going to play him on 10, but 8 is still fine for this card by the looks of it. Now, anyway, getting into the card, he's five foot seven, which means he's going to have Ben Yellow left stick dribbling. High-low work rates, right-footed, 4-star, four 4-star, four 92 pace, 90 dribbling, 92 shooting, 80 passing, and 82 physical. As we move into the traits, he's got the outside of foot shot, he's got the finesse shot trait, and he's got flair. The best traits you can have on the game, really. None of them are CPU AI controlled, which is quite interesting. And, obviously, Jermaine Defoe, when he gets cards like this, generally is quite good. As we move into the attributes, 92 acceleration with 92 sprint speed, 96 attack position with 92 finishing, 92 shot power, 88 long shots, 96 volleys and 92 penalties. Passing is a bit poor for this card with 82 vision. He's got 87 short pass, 91 free kick accuracy to be fair to him. 99 curve, obviously 89 there, but with the finesse shot that goes up to 99. Really good dribbling stats with the agility and balance respectively both at 97. Reactions is at 93. Ball control is at 90. 86 dribbling and 98 composure. 99 heading accuracy with 94 jumping. He is still short though, so it's going to be deemed kind of useless. 85 stamina, 75 strength, and 95 aggression. Card looks insane. Now, there are a few things when I look at the card that I'm interested in upgrading, but, you know, we want to do the pace up, we want to do the strength up, and we kind of do want to do the dribbling stat up because it's a bit low. Um, but with that being said... Honestly, I don't can't remember off the top of my head what the marksman does. Um, I would rather go and upgrade his dribbling stat than his pace. So that does his dribbling up by 10, which is brilliant for him. You know, no boost to agility and balance, which is actually quite nice here. He goes up to 98 reactions, 99 ball control, 96 dribbling, 85 strength and 99 jumping. With 99 finishing, 97 shot power and 98 long shots. We're not getting the pace upgrade, but I do think, personally, that is the best chem style for him. Um, you know, you can waste an engine on him. You know, it does the agility and balance up. But it's already at 97 on both, so I don't think it's really worth upgrading that. I think, personally, the chemistry style that we've got on here, the marksman, is the best for him. We're going to be playing him in a 4 one 2 2 narrow up front alongside Harvey Barnes, I believe, with Sancho in behind. Let's get into a game and see how we get on with this Jermaine Defoe card. All right, guys, into the game we go with Jermaine Defoe. That rhymes, that's brilliant. We're going to show at least 45 minutes live and I'll bring you back to the rest. Highlights, this guy's got Laporte. Still to all, Liverpool are on the break. This has been a really, really entertaining game to be fair. I, I, I kind of want Liverpool to win in some weird way for the upgrade to Curtis Jones. I want the plus two on him. But anyway, Jermaine Defoe. Feels good on the ball. Feels real. Oh my. I have a lot of love for Jermaine Defoe. I think he's always been a brilliant player. Um, some of the things he's done in his career as well um, with the uh, Bradley, uh, absolutely brilliant as well. Do think they've priced this card really well as well. Um, obviously, because he looks really meta, but being in that uh, the, the uh, League One, oh my God, unlucky start. Uh, being in League One, he obviously is hard to link. Uh, I know, as I said, though, at the start of the video, there was a fair few good English players in the game this year, so... You can't really fault the uh, the pricing. Um, EA know what they're doing. And yeah, I just hope he's really good in game. Um, he already feels good on the ball. That was some insane dribbling there. Oh, he's done well. That's a great turn. I'll give him credit for that. 
Yeah, fair play. Good goal. Good goal. Good, good goal for this lad. Um, he's celebrating. Don't know why. But that was a nice goal from this dude. Look at how quick he looks. Oh, my days. Jermaine Defoe. He's in. Oh. Okay. I mean, he's, he's got to score that, right? I don't think that's excusable, really. Anyway, okay. Has to score that, in my opinion. It was a really powerful effort, mind. Oh, Jermaine. Oh, Jermaine. Jermaine Defoe, you can't. Okay. All right. He hits his shots with some serious venom. I think you guys can see that. Um, let me I was trying to get the outside of the foot shot there, but it didn't want to give it to me. But, you know, it's, it still went in. So, come on, Jermaine. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Oh, Harvey Bands. Look at that. Jermaine Defoe's having a real good impact. Okay. Now, as I said at the start of the video as well, guys, the thing about the card is because he's five foot seven, he's very similar to uh, Ben Yedder in that regard, being really short. Uh-oh. Okay, that was poor. That wasn't actually that bad. Like, it did dip quite a lot. But, yeah, he does have that similar build to... To your Ben Yedder. And obviously Ben Yedder's got some of the best sticky left stick dribbling on the game. So um, I was kind of going into this thinking this card is going to be a regen of Ben Yedder. With uh, not five star weak foot, you know. I've got to score that. I've done a shot cancel with him. I've done a shot cancel and I shouldn't have. Can he win that? Oh no, he's gone the other way. What's going on here? Is there a penalty in the City game? Sorry, boys. I, I'm a bit distracted, but I'm here to give this review to, to to you all. Oh, Jermaine. Oh, what a save. His finishing is a bit sus unless you green it, is what I'd have to say so far. He actually stays in the box as well, and he's so small. Nice. I did not aim that there. Look at the controller. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a red card for Fabinho by the looks of that. Defoe, he's got a, Oh my god, he's penalty, surely. Yeah, I was going to say. That was a brilliant sprint boost from uh, Jermaine there. Absolutely brilliant sprint boost. And we're, uh, we've got a penalty now to uh, let's go 3 1 up. So let's give it to Jermaine, our main man, Jermaine. Jermaine Defoe, thank you very much. 3 1 in 22 minutes. This guy did go 1 0 up and he celebrated. That's no bueno. We, we, we don't do that around here, you know? Oh, Jaden. Oh, yes. Go on in, Jermaine. Man, he, he has got that sticky, guys. He's got that sticky. He's got that aggression. And he feels ridiculous on the ball. Literally Ben Yedder. Hold him off. Jermaine Defoe just held off uh, Virgil. My eyes must be deceiving me. That marksman is definitely working then. Nice, Rice. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, my God. I like him. I actually really, really like him. I'm having lots of fun here playing with this uh, Jermaine Defoe card. Nice one, well Maldini. Nice. Let's get that in there. Beautiful play. Good short pass there. Beautiful football. Jermaine Defoe's in again. Oh, dear. I mean, that wasn't a bad effort, to be fair. I, I did uh, cut across it a bit too much. This guy's going to leave. Let's get into another game. Defoe's in. He is so good in behind. Oh, man. Oh, off the post. Oh, he scored anyway. The foe is so good in behind, guys. The foe. Jermaine Defoe. What a finish that is. All right, guys. So two games done with Jermaine Defoe. Three goals and one assist. I can already make my mind up about this card. He is very, very similar to Ben Yedder. Uh, player of the month, Ben Yedder, feels very similar to this card. I also like it because he's English and obviously it's Jermaine Defoe. I have a bit more of a connection with Defoe to what I do with Ben Yedder. I assume a lot of you guys watching this video also will have that as well. Um, Defoe is really good in game. Great finishing, great finesse shots, great shot power, really good long shots. Okay passing. He's very much, uh, you know, he's not able to play the cam role. He has to play striker. And I believe he's best suited to the two striker role as well. And his passing isn't bad. You know, his double X's are okay. And his general passing is all right. Just don't be expecting free balls to be going through with him. Or the over the tops, of course. 
Um, agility and balance is insane on this card. His shot cancels are absolutely out of this world. His sprint boost, out of this world. I really do think the marksman is important on this card to really boost up that dribbling to different levels. And that's what we've done here. I could really, really feel his dribbling being unbelievable. Better than many others, genuinely. Um, which is obviously really nice to have. And obviously, he's 5-7 in game. But he was quite physical. I thought he was really, really good at holding players off and kind of having that physical battle with defenders that are like six foot two, six foot three. He was able to actually tussle with them and show a bit of strength in that regard, which was really, really nice. I think this card is a must-complete SPC. You know, he's very cheap to do and only an 85 rated squad with very low chemistry. I would say go and get him done. I'm going to rate his stats now out of 10. His pace, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. You could probably even go for an 8.5 due to the fact you can couple that with the dribbling and how good his sprint boost is and how good he is dribbling-wise. He feels really, really quick in game. Obviously, he's got that short frame as well. And he feels absolutely ludicrously rapid in game. Shooting is the arguable best thing on this card. I'm going to go for a 9 out of 10 here. Great finesse shots, great shot power, great long shots. Insane finishing, really good AI runs too. Passing, I'm going to give a 6 out of 10. He's not great here, of course. He's a striker. And he is a proper striker with that low vision and that low short pass. Um, for, oh, sorry, not low short pass, but low long pass. He is meant to play at striker. And the best way to play him at striker is getting behind. Uh, play him as a getting behind striker. And you'll really see the fruits of your labour with this card. He's really, really good. Uh, great price. Uh, moving on to the dribbling. I'm going to rate this a 9 out of 10. That agility and balance. And then boosting up that dribbling stat. Made him absolutely unreal on the ball. Uh, very, very nice. Better than Ben Yedder on the ball, as I already said. Which is something that is really valuable to me. He can shoot on both feet still. He's got the outside of the foot shot. Don't fault him here. And I really do think you guys should consider the marksman on this card. Moving on to the physical as well. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Although he's five foot seven, I really did think he had the physical uh, prowess against other centre-backs. Which was kind of strange to me. But he was really good against... Uh, you know, your, we played against De Vrij, we played against Laporte's showdown. He was able to actually tussle with them and beat them in some battles, which was something that I really wasn't expecting. But he was really good there, and that aggression is really high as well, so you can't fault him in that regard at all. Guys, I'm going to rate this card a 8.5 out of 10. For value, I'd probably go for like a 9.5 out of 10. Obviously, team season is just around the corner, but this card is iconic and an awesome guy in real life. A great player on his day as well. But guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell so you never miss a player review. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now, so take care.